the existential adventures of Tim Maia. Nobody can live forever. This is the story of the man who revolutionized popular music in Brazil. A man who lived on the very edge in every way possible. This is the life and death of Tim Maia. One of the greatest soul artists of all time. Tim was born 18th in a family of 19. He headed to America to become an international star, but he spent most of his time in and out of jail, eventually being deported back to Brazil. In 1970, he broke through, topping the Brazilian charts for 24 weeks and shot to fame and fortune. And that's when it started to ride off the rails. He'd buy 200 LSD tabs to enlighten his record label. He'd play at home with his machine gun. When there was a delay in his royalty payments, he'd unleash his two Dobermans on the label president's office. He'd record with James Brown's band, only to destroy the tapes afterwards. He was a wild one. He never quite knew if he'd show up to his own gigs. He had 120 lawsuits filed for and against him. Tim did whatever he wanted, always with a smile on his face. Then in 1974, at the peak of his fame, while tripping on mescaline, he came across the Bible of the UFO called Cultura Racional. And two days later, he'd only play for the cult, he'd only sing about the cult, and he'd be constantly staring at the sky for flying saucers. But when he found his girlfriend with the cult leader, he quit, Maya style, and returned to his normal life of chaos, missing gigs and getting high, always dreaming of that big international release. And here it is. So don your white robes, drop a tab or two and get wild for Tim Maya's first worldwide album release. Nobody can live forever. The existential soul of Tim Maya. Viva Tim! Tim, Tim, Tim.